Thank you for joining me. This is just a quick one. Yesterday I did the picker cards for the week. Um, they're due to go up either the end of this week or the start of next week. And the funny thing was is that they all centred around the death card. So I know that in tarot the death card can mean changes and often often means the end of a situation to start a new one or changes coming up. But I just thought it was very strange that they all centred around the death card in the three readings. So I may or may not put those readings up. I may put them up with a warning um, that the death card is in these all three readings. But it, it was quite dark reading. So they had um, like the hermit card was in there as well. So retreating, going back within. Um, there was also like turmoil in the readings. And I felt like, and I started thinking, why? Was the reading trying to tell me something? Or was the reading, uh, because I was doing the, working on the Nicola Bully, readings at the time and it was if and I knew they had to get them done yesterday as well and I was wondering if the cards were trying to say to me no you need to get um, the Nicola Bully stuff done first that's why it kept giving me the death card and the turmoil cards so anyway I did the Nicola Bully reading yesterday and I've come back in fresh today to get new energy and the cards seem to be back to normal again today but I just wanted to know um, just a quick one if I should actually put those cards up, put that pick a card up with the death card in it. So that's the first thing I'm going to ask. Also going to ask if the reading was um, the cards were trying to get me to read for Nicola instead of doing the pick a cards. And the other question I was wondering if is it like a universal thing? So the death energy and the the retreating and the hermit, like the lockdown type energy, is it a like a message for you know either our country or the world that we're about to go into some more of that heavy type energy again. So I just wanted to ask those three questions and just decide whether or not I want to put this reading up or indeed if I want to put up the pick a card that I did yesterday. So I'm just going to tap into the cards energy. Okay, so first of all, okay, there's a hidden aspect. It's saying hidden aspect to this situation. Okay, first of all cards, I want to know why we kept, why yesterday all the cards were in the pick a card readings were related to death and turmoil. Why were the cards yesterday related to death and turmoil? Okay, um, it is to do with changes. So um, the death card means changes. So there's cha I think it could just mean generally there's changes coming up in um, people's readings. Now I know ast astrologically, like in astrology, we are going through some heavy changes with some of the big planets. There's some big changes happening. So I feel like, yeah, maybe that is gonna affect people um, on a basic level. And the other card is the attack. So that was my other question, is there some kind of attack that's going to happen that's going to cause people to have to retreat back into their homes or um, yeah so they were kind of the three questions that I had and that's what it's saying so the first one was there a hidden message for me in there um, was is it about changes for people or is it about attack so the cards I think they're just telling me okay let's have a look so let's leave those three and we'll do a spread so first of all was that was that card reading yesterday a message to me to tell me, whoops, um, was that reading yesterday that I did for the pick of cards, was that the cards trying to tell me to read for Nicola Bully instead of doing the pick of cards? Is that what you were doing, cards? You were trying to read for Nicola Bully? Okay. Okay, let's go with those three. And I'm going to put the three cards out and then I'm going to come back and read for them. Okay, so now under the changes, was it just related to that a lot of people are facing heavy changes this week coming up? Or you may get the reading next week. Whoops, sorry, I can't read that many. Let's have a look, we'll go these three. That one shouldn't be in there, it's a different card. Okay, and finally, is there going to be, so, like in this next week or so, is there going to be some kind of... Um, escalation of war or some kind of disease or something that causes us all to have to retreat back those kind of heavy changes I'll just have a little peek at these okay okay so is there something that's going to happen on a global scale or just locally okay we've got the death card for this one okay that's three okay let's see Okay, first of all, so whether it's, I ask if it's doing that card, 
doesn't belong there. So, um, and that card was just um, messages from spirit as a tapping in, a tapping into the energy is what it's saying. And that's just telling me to tap into the energies. Okay, so um, was, was you trying to tell me to read for Nicola yesterday instead of reading for people? Okay, so it was, um, it was, I was just doing like an energy charge, which is what I often do before I do a deep reading like that. I'll do a quick little mini, mini card, pick a card reading first, just to tune into the energies, just to tap in a little bit more. It's like a little warm up before I start to read a heavier reading. So I think that's what it's saying. So yes, I was doing that. Um, and I guess, and there's like a loss of thing. And actually that's what did happen yesterday. Um, I did go into a bit of a, I couldn't, like it, sometimes it's really difficult when you're reading to stay in the logical sense as well as staying in the like tapped in energy. So it's really hard to switch between the two. And I did struggle with that greatly yesterday. I was like, I kept forgetting. And this card here is like where you're losing losing your mind basically um, and that did happen to me yesterday so I think what it, and, and it's also got the energy boost card so what it was trying to tell me yesterday is that I didn't have a great deal of energy yesterday or a great deal of time and it was um, wanting me to move on to to the Nicola Bully stuff um, before my mind kind of blanked out and it did it did kind of blank out midway through that reading but yeah new, new beginnings it just wanted me to move on that's all that was so yes it did kind of telling me that my energy and I was going to lose my mind a little bit and lose my focus is what I should say that you lose my focus a little bit yesterday so it was asking me just kind of move through those readings fairly fast yesterday which I normally do two I do one for the start of week and one for the end of the week and yesterday I only ended up getting through the full reading I didn't get to the express end of the week reading because I really did feel like it wanted me to move on to the Nicola Bully stuff. Now, the other question was, was it related to the changes coming up for the people? Um, and okay, so what we've got here is the changes card, which is also the death card in the tarot can mean the changes. And it's um, down here with the same kind of very similar card uh, that says favourable outcome. So yes, it is saying that um, there is some some news coming in for people or there's some changing changes coming in for people. Um, but it also does say there's some chaos around as well. It's quite, there is a bit of energetic energetic chaos going on. This is say about staying calm in the chaos. So there is a little bit of energetic chaos around for people. Some people have a favorable outcome with these changes um, and some people just need to connect in. Actually, that's what we got in one of those readings was um, some one of the groups had to really focus on their grounding and their base chakra was really out of whack. So that's what that card is. They really had to ground and really had to focus on doing their, um, their chakra balancing and alignment because what their base chakra was really either over um, it was large or it was small like it was really out of whack to the other chakras so yes what it's saying the readings that I did yesterday they are the readings for the people so those changes that were happening were for the each individual groups um, they weren't anything to do with the Nicola bully but yeah it was trying to tell me that um, I did, didn't have a lot of energy so I did, wasn't going to get through both lots of readings which I didn't Okay, and then over here on the um, Nicola Bully one, let's see, oh no, no, this one here is the attack. So is there going to be some kind of imminent world event that's going to cause um, us to have to retreat or, or the death card or, you know, now we have the death card in this one here. So, and I feel like we have some truth and fairness. So I feel like there is going to be some kind of justice um, this week. There's going to be either a balancing out of some sort. So this is the truth and justice. So it's got the sun and the moon. So it's a yes and a no. I feel like it's not going to be like before where we all get locked down and that kind of really heavy energy. But yes, there is stuff going on in, in the world. So it's saying, no, we're not going to all be locked down. But yes, there is stuff going on in the world because there is. Um, we may receive some new information on some things. There may be a slight escalation of um, current situations that already happen or, or we actually might receive the information on what's going on, whether that's truth or not, because there is a lot of misinformation around. Um, but we are going to receive some kind of information and the, and the death card here has come up in that one here so um, you know I just think um, with the death card there's always deaths so it happens every day and I don't feel like there's going to be mass deaths because it's not saying that at all um, but there is going to be deaths and and that's a fact of life so I feel like yeah on a world scale people will die people will be born so I don't I can't see any kind of um, 
major catastrophe is what I'm looking at there for next week because that's what I was worried about and I wasn't going to put the cards up if it, if it was um, that kind of energy but it's not it's saying that it's individual energy for people but it was just asking me just to um, just do the one reading and then go on to the Nicola Bully one because I was going to um, lose my focus and which I did so thank you I may put this one up or I may not not too sure but I think I'm going to put those uh, those three readings up and um, I'll probably put them up uh, early next week. So thank you for joining me.